Hello and welcome to the Big One class. A mobile phone is an indispensable tool in people's daily lives, studies and jobs. With the popularity of smartphones, a large amount of personal privacy information is stored in the phone. As a result, mobile phones have become a favorite target for hackers. The most common type of mobile phone attack is one on the SIM card. In this video, let's talk about what a SIM card swap attack is. What is a SIM card swap attack? A SIM card swap attack occurs when hackers use technical means to copy the information on your SIM card. Of course, there are cases where your SIM card is obtained by stealing a mobile phone. But more attacks are carried out remotely. Hackers will typically impersonate you in contacting a telecoms company to obtain your SIM card after obtaining your personal information. Once the attacker has your SIM card, they will control your phone number and receive any calls or text messages sent to it. They will log into all applications using their phone number, including your social media and financial accounts. As time goes on, more and more applications rely on mobile phones. SIM card exchange attacks expose you to greater risk in financial terms. If the hacker obtains your encrypted account's username and password, they will attempt to verify the login by sending an SMS verification code to your mobile phone number. They can also change your email password to prevent you from receiving 2FA alerts. You can also request that your 2FA verification code be sent to their mobile phone for them to access your account. The hackers will transfer your funds to their accounts before you can react. Hackers can also add other devices to your 2FA at the same time. This means that even if your phone is restored, your cryptocurrency account is still vulnerable to attack. Unfortunately, you can do nothing once your funds have been removed from your account and mixed into a global account. If you own cryptocurrency, especially if strangers are aware of your ownership. Take all possible security precautions to prevent the leakage of your personal information. You can use another mobile phone and SIM card as a separate security device to receive security verification codes and adequately maintain the security of your mobile phone. Keep asset security management separate from other account information to help protect yourself from SIM card attacks. Today's Big One class has concluded. Thank you for your time. We'll see you next time.